Hey guys, I just arrived the Oshu uh, Osho Book Group. This is the entrance. This is the road that links in here. <clears throat> We're going in a short while and I'll be showing you what it looks like on the inside. Each and every one of these images were carefully done by artists in partnership with Susan Winger. God bless her soul. She died at the age of 93 in Oshobo. These images all have deep traditional meanings and they all tell a story. We couldn't get a tour guide at the entrance because it was a day to the end of the Oshun Oshobo festival. Currently at the Osho River. Uh, this is the Osho River. There are lots of history behind the river, behind this place. Hopefully, we'll get to hear all about it today. I I I I I I some sacrifices were about to take place so we were advised to leave the premises and come back after the sacrifice so we just moved to the other wing of the groove on our way to the other side of the wing we met art x He's a researcher and a devotee to Yeye Oshun. Come on, you can continue. Yes, like I said, the, the particular spot you're yeah. taking your pictures yeah. uh, are designated for Babalaos. Yeah. Tomorrow, which is the main um, festival itself, you're going to see a lot of Babalaos around. Mm -hmm. All of them we gather there, mm -hmm. just like picnic with their family and so on. So, time immemorial has it that this is Igbodu. Igbodu is a sacred um, forest yeah. where um, initiations for adherents, mm -hmm. advocates, Babalao. Okay. And like you have this space, so you have different spaces within the group that is designated to different divinities. So tomorrow you are going to see much more all of all of this. For every creature you see, for now I cannot really pick what the story is talking about, but there is a particular thing story about that, it, that is yes. And when you move in the group to when you're going by the wall, mm. the beach wall, yeah. there are some. You Do you know, know the stories? There are some stories. You know the stories. Can tell you. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Uh, on I would. So. I will walk around with you. Positive prayer. Mm. Meaning, say something good to yourself. Mm. By the time you are crossing the bridge, so mm. you see that 
one of the Yoshun daughter to just visit you and answer all your prayers. Why are you dancing Please, while I'm talking though? No, why I'm would trying I, to like why would the biggest is is like, so No, I'm oh. giving you more, I'm boosting okay. it so that you can see by the time you get to the to the to the end no not end <laughs> to the at middle. the middle of the bridge mm. wow yes. just hold your spirit so if, I, if i'm praying for instance now that ah yeah you should give me a child give me a child doesn't mean that <laughs> when i'm going i'll get pregnant all right let's go this is the suspended lake oh you people <clears throat> The Oshu Suspended Lake. Sorry, the Oshu Suspended Bridge. But this is yeah, the Oshu no Suspended Bridge. Oh, Oh, you are crossing it live and direct with my tourist boom. I can see they are becoming, becoming live and direct. Nothing to do. Don't know. No. no. Wow. Ah, they are too late. This was so very interesting and fantastic. Oh no, we'll be my wife. This I'm just going to speak for me because myself I'm a, I'm a, I'm a researcher for myself, a performing artist, so I'm just going to speak for me. Oh no, we'll be my wife. 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 Oh no, we'll be my
have become uh, a source as far as Oshobo is concerned and creating Oshobo through that through that connect and every year see people coming here worshiping Oshobo and there is a um, there is a there is a very strong importance and, and necessity within the hunters in Oshobo and Oshun because the only two men the only two men was a hunter yeah so the hunters and they are the ones that go through to the bush and whatever before they came in contact with such and they made uh, what they do that uh, they made space and they settled yes. and they built and, and so on so and that's how it had it had come to be so later on so Yosho Shobo became pros, pro, uh, prosperous and all over the world even some of us did not even know it came from Igidi We've been coming to a show, 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 Yeah, it's because of, um, uh, it took prominence more here. It took prominence more here. Then the connection within itself, the Yolitimei and their settlements and the, uh, what's it called? The conversations, the discussions, the promises they made within themselves, then, as a time immemorial, then they kept to it and all they became prosperous. They become everything was fine for them. The arrow became the tie and die became the thing that their women begin to do and, and use and, and so on. And they connect children, women, deities, and that um, injunction that they need to come yearly. They need to come yearly to to to, to make prayers, propitiations, libations, and so on. That injunction, yeah, because they, they, they made that injunction after installing their king, a virgin, a virgin will bring the calabash to the stream here, yearly. So with that, prominence grew around it. Then for the, the, the Susan Wenger, one lady like that, she, um, she's a German, I think, Together with her husband, they came to Nigeria so many years. Ulibie, yeah, yeah, so many years. And she came in, she came to Shobo, saw this, she saw this amazing work of nature, and she decided to settle down in Shobo. While she settled down in Shobo, she began to work with locals. So it was through Susan Wenger that. Um, all of those artworks that you're seeing, those morals that you're seeing. Mm. So with her own inspiration. In fact, she turned to a, 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 a mystery herself because it's just for a woman like that, she comes into the group alone, begin to, you know, you can't be here really meditating and you will not connect with some strange things. It's, 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 it's a bound. So with her, she got locals. So whatever inspiration that comes into her head, they interpret it. So through the the eulogy, the oriki of Oshoshobo, the story, so they begin to make all of those artworks. And she stood in advocacy for UNESCO to honor this historical site. She was a she was a strong voice. She was a strong voice for, for that. If you go to um, Obokun Road, where she lived all her life, she adopted children. Yeah, where she lived all her life before she passed on is there and the um, story has it that she she was being buried in the groove here then as time goes on she gave a lot of prominence to the group she was given Maduniolo um, Osha she was given a name and with that too it, it, it grew it, it, it grew Oshogbo as it were is known for for deep traditional um, practices there are a lot of you know unlike Lagos unlike some other places where uh, a lot of discrimination and stuff. Here in Oshobo, you see, as you can see, you see Babalawos, you see them, everybody practicing their, their, their way of life. And fortunately, a lot of Muslims are much more even abound here. So it has grown and it has grown. But the painful and disappointing part of it is that, you know, we have a very good country, so we should not say you know, <laughs> so, you know, it's painful. Sometimes I used to say by now there should be a sort of Disneyland behind here. Of course. This would be here, but behind there there should be a sort of Disneyland. An interpretation of all of those things you're seeing in a contemporary form. 
you know you can imagine what it's going to look like but Nainjala oh, okay. Nainjala baby so from my own if you still want deep stories about this even how these things came to be I know it has its own story there are places you can still come to this and lake I, this this bridge. particular bridge yeah, yeah. There's, there's a story behind it how it got there how it was made and stuff like that so it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you I'm so sure much. With this little I've shared with you. Fact, you yeah, have, you've, next, just, you've just taught is, millions of people the, next, the, next the history of this, this water. water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I'm not freaked out. I'm not freaked out. What this bridge is moving, and here is the Oshun River. Currently standing at the suspended bridge here at the Oshobo Groove. <laughs> you know, oh. it's very interesting and I, I find it very curious and adventurous that you guys can, you know, because we still need to sell tourism in Nigeria. Yeah. Too many potential, big time, we are losing out. Big, 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 big. I'm telling you, it is big. You have so many things that you can sell to the world. But we're not doing it. We don't even know some of them. No, some people don't know. We don't even know where they are. We don't know what the attributes are. This one is because, yeah, okay. It has some religious connotation to it. Very spiritual. Are you going to be here tomorrow? Yes. yes. Make sure you don't eat fish today. Yes. Make sure you don't drink um, anything that has a malt, wheat, or something like that? Yes. Really? Spirit will catch you. Where are we coming from now? Yeah, we just played Osho music and one of the dancers was was caught. Caught in what sense? Spirit, trance. Your body could be shaved. You know when I say spirit, catch them. Spirit, catch them. Mad though. Ah, I'm not be my man. I'm serious. You say a lot tomorrow. I'm serious. So what are the things you shouldn't eat? Fish. fish and malt. What kind of fish? Catfish. Ah. Oh, we don't talk fish. You see one different shade. <laughs> 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 I don't drop my own yesterday, so I don't go miss that. I don't care. You go one joy. Don't be catfish with them. Green. Green fish, man. Don't be scared. Well, you also don't go best. Ah, you go best. My name is Toye Arulogu. Toye Arulogu. Toye Arulogu. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Generally, it's Toye. I'm a journalist, I'm a journalist, but I'm a journalist. I'm a marketing communications person. Really. Oh, Shay, wow. give them, give yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am the consultant of the Oshobo Festival. I am the immediate, although they don't sign the guy now, so I don't know. I'm the immediate past commissioner for information, culture, and tourism. Woo! Oh, your state? Yes. Oh, I am founder of Spirit of Nigeria under Radio. Uh, Governor Jimoli. Founder of Spirit of Nigeria Radio. CNC Life Radio in Ibado. Wow. So we are there. We are we there plenty. <laughs> One I'm going to take you guys to. You know Yake Lake? No. I don't know that. You know Yake Lake? Yes, 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 yes. That uh that lake, there are only two in the world. One is here in Nigeria, one in Colorado. That's a, a lake on a hill. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like this is a lake, it's a lake, but there's water right there. Yeah. He's only nobody is only God that can put that kind of thing there. Yeah. And I think yeah, there are a, a thousand and something steps that you need to climb to get there. You know, we always make it very adventurous. Mm -hmm. You can set up tents and camp out there, yeah. you know. Hey, walk there. Mm. It's possible. We did it when I was there. We did World Tourism Day there. We went. But you know, make I not talk Niger. If I talk Niger, but well, I'll be very slow. I'm not go happy. Yes. Why people are so very disappointed in Niger? Mm. Now nah, we, now nah, we be Niger now. Not the best. <laughs> <laughs> but that name Niger is still a beautiful name. Yeah. Now that's why. That's why we get swagger. <laughs> but swagger pass content. <laughs> Are you, yeah, we'll be all, 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 all the grass matters are no form, you know, we just, but you know, we are very proud people, Nigerians, very, sometimes, borders on arrogant, you know, very patriotic, mm. we can be criticizing ourselves, but when you go out there, man, very patriotic, Niger to the core, <laughs> but there's a whole lot, too. there's a whole lot, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. first time in my life I saw white people with incision on their body. Wow. Mm. You know that I mean? white people. They came Brazilians, Portuguese, plenty. But Corona will let them come this mm. as much. But some are already in town. Mm. I mean, I, I see videos online of um, Brazilians doing exactly the same things yeah, 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 that we yeah, have. Yeah. 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 That's why we are just coming from. I wish you guys we had met earlier. We are just coming from a discourse, you know. How do we? Uh, no, come, not convo. I know the guys doing convo. This one is uh, a sociable festival. Yoruba, Yoruba culture on global stage. You know, so we got some guy from the rest of the okay. Everything we are doing here, they are doing there. Even in America, man, they are for sure village. Yes. Have you seen America? Black America, we get Chaba Man. In Oyetuji village. You are here. Yeah, and I've heard of that Oyetuji. I learned that it's, it was that, that guy that even emanates from that state in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Let you, that was, you, that you was the time the guy came from the US to, yes, to meet on your official. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I can remember. So there are so many But they said that they live life like Nigerians there. It, you they can't even know that they are. Chabama, Chabama. I want Deepo. <laughs> Deep. I'm telling you now. So there's a whole lot to forget about whether work day, work no day. But, but the most pain, painful part of it is like Nigeria have gotten a lot of tourist attraction. But I don't know the But thank God for Poro. Though we are not happy that Poro is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God for Poro. Poro made us to discover things. many things. Our domestic tourism. Yeah. In fact, we were able to discover a lot of tourist That's where attraction we now. I used to run a program, you know, where you send something to a short code. We pick you, then we give you a free weekend to a tourist destination like here. All expenses paid. But I'm not so sponsored and abandoned After I some episodes. No, I'm serious. So we took we, like the first trip we took them to Abuja. Some people were flying for the first time. And mm. it was just by a, a draw, you know. Mm. I didn't know them. Put them put them in limousine, you know, give them we call it a VIP weekend. So mm. you go to some attraction. Oh, thank you so much, sir. This is where you know the value of culture. Just like I keep saying, like in Brazil, they are Catholics, but every home has a shrine. These guys are Muslims, Christians. You see someone with jab here yeah, at Oshun River. Like you said, deep. It's very deep. Thank you so much, sir. No problem. This was very insightful. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. After spending approximately two hours plus at the Groove, we headed for the Nikkei Art Galleries. We visited the one at Estate and then we moved to the other location. There are two Nikkei Art Galleries in Ocean State.
This is the second location of the Nikkei Art Gallery. This is where the tie and dye classes and lectures and practicals happen. I have no idea. I, I have no idea. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I'm very fine. Thank you. We have toured Nikkei. Nikkei's um, art gallery. We've gone to the apartment and we want to conclude the evening with the. Yes. This is beautiful. The beautiful thing you're doing here. Good evening. You're welcome. Thank you. We'll just wait for the rest, uh, other guys. I feel like they're doing stuff Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll come back. Let's just go around. I think that's why they've been making this. Welcome to Nikkei's workshop. <laughs> A place where mighty men of art have been made. There are more than 25 different Thai ports at the Nikkei Center for Art and Culture. Each port is used to add a different layer of color to the fabric. Alright, let's go. This is Nikkei Center for Art and Culture. Thank you. Okay. And here is where we do the local dyes, where local dyes are being dipped. Okay. These are local dye pots. Okay. And that's indigo leaf over there. Okay. The indigo leaf is the recipe of the work we do here. That's indigo. Uh -huh. And when you come to think of it, when you take the new grown leaf over there and you scrub it in your the hand, pan, yeah. it will appear a darker sheet of color, mm. which will retain for like two, three days. And that's what it's being used to mix the dyes we do use for local dyes mm. here at Nuke Center for Art and Culture. We might have the practical aspect. Mm -hmm. and these are synthetic dyes over here, okay. which are being used to dye fabrics. Because when you use local dyes, it has to use a certain days. Number of days for it to dry up. Days. Not even to dye, to absorb. Absorb the, the dye. To absorb. Yeah. So, the the preparation are being made by the Ogidi women. The Ogidi women are the ones that make the dye. Yeah, they are the ones that make the local dye. Okay. And these are dye bats here. Dye bats. These yeah. are the, the dye bats are the holes yeah. around here. Yeah. Okay. These are the newly built dye bats. Okay. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the leaf. Yeah. It goes very faster. And when you do scrub them on your pen, when it turns, it turns navy blue. Navy blue? Yeah, the green. When it's 
Ozzy guys, mm. you see them changing colors. It will change to a darker shade of color. How do I know this? plants in any way in the bush how do i know this particular plant this is the seed okay or the indigo leaf yeah so when it's been planted it will definitely germinate okay and when you want to check this is mm. how it looks like mm. nothing else a real it is being called a real in the river a way is leaf okay indigo is okay red. Okay. So you can see it's changing hmm. color. Yeah. So. So walk me through the process. So I get the, the we get the material, okay. the bath material. Okay. Walk me through the process. When you do start work, yeah, you start on paper. Okay. That's the one color, the two color, hmm. the components of free hand. Mm -hmm. Then we proceed to the free hand. From the free hand, we proceed to figure cuttings. Mm -hmm. Then from figure cuttings, we proceed to the pattern designs. Mm -hmm. So that's when you know different patterns like crop pebbles, mm -hmm. are the reddies, mm -hmm. are the mm -hmm. and when you are through with your fabric and uh, with your paperwork, mm. you then proceed to work on fabric. Mm -hmm. That will be a 10 yard fabric, mm -hmm. which will last for a number of days. Mm. When you start the first day, you start with what is being given to you on paper. Mm. That is the, at the rare one color. Mm. When you dye them, it's always been indigo. Mm. That is the color of what we do here. Yeah. And the second color is a choice of colors you, you want. want yeah. That's when you pre dye at first, then you proceed to dipping them in a lighter shade of color. Mm. Then from the lighter shades of color, you proceed. Sorry there. Now I'm picking I'm picking the sounds from what he's saying. What I mean by pre dyeing fabrics, these are being pre dyed. That's the, the that's the tenty color now. The initial color of this fabric is white. Yeah. And these are the pre dyed parts of the fabric. Okay. Which comes in orange and blue. Yeah. So we retained the orange and blue, and this is the last stage, which is navy blue. Yeah. The navy blue will be the background color. Being done. But this is not cutting material because it's not it's not absorbing water quickly. It's not cutting, is it? You mean the fabric? Yes. Yes. Well done, guys. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. So we leave it soaked in. We leave them soaked in the water. We have to leave them for a certain period of time. How long? It goes to be for at least it will last for like 45 minutes. But this is not cutting because the water is bouncing off the clothes. Is it cutting? If you still retain, it is cutting material. <laughs> Well, they have different type of cotton. That's it's okay material. We have the chiffon material. Chiffon material. Chiffon. Chiffon. Okay. One. They are lighter. They are lighter fabrics. No surprise. No surprise. This one. They still want to maintain that color. And then add this one to it. Add this one to it. So it doesn't matter where the colors, these new colors look like. Yes, exactly. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. He said that we still maintain this color, mm. but they still want to get one particular color Navy out of it. That will be the blue. Yeah. dark shade. Of so this is red. After this, is having chemical white, combination now. Then the darker shades will bring out the lighter colors that are being deep. That's white and any other colors that are being there. Is this not cassava? This is the cassava. Is this cassava or wax uh, method? No, this is batik. Batik, batik yeah. Okay. yeah. Batik is the application of wax on fabric. 
Mm. While cassava on the public is at the level. Yes. yes. See this white. Why mm. <laughs> are you spoiling the white clothes? By the time this thing comes out, then. Huh? One more. The light on me. Oh See, the water is bouncing up, it doesn't make a beautiful way. Like it's forming a design. That's the idea. Because, do you know, do you know how they get that party? Maybe they, I remember in Natural secondary 004. school days. <laughs> no, let me just tell you. There is a candle. Yeah, they do. They use candle. Candle to, to, to make it more thicker. I think I get it right. You use all this. You melt candle. Yeah, so these are melted candles. Uh, uh, oh, I'm too good, man. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Like, the application of wax on fabric is just what they call batik. Batik, yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. This is a shibo material. Mm. That's what I don't understand. <laughs> this is chiffon, right? Yeah. On hundred percent fabric. But this is not. not this is not candle, poster. is it? This is. Sorry, is this wax. I mean. Yeah, this is wax on it. So when we are dying like this, when we are dying fabrics, not dying. When we are dying fabrics like this, <laughs> we are. Can you understand that part of them? I dipped it inside the last color, which is navy blue. So when you dip it inside navy blue, you have to place in air to oxidize. When it oxidizes, then you know the shades of color you dyed. If it's not coming out fine, you know this thing is not coming out fine. Then you bring it back. Then you start all over again. You die if it is not cracking. Because what it's doing now, it, it can never crack. As you can see, the designs are just there. Mm. The way it did it. Yeah. So if it is cracking, you find means of retaining those places with wax in case of crack. Then you bring it down here, rinse before we come and the wax. Yeah. Oh, you have to do wax to close. You say this in the size. Okay. And here we call it the waxing. So when you are the waxing, the waxing is the method of removing the wax from the fabric. So I can see the designs you made on fabric. I do that by boiling the, the fabric. We, no, we prepare, we prepare uh, auto Yeah. So when it is being here, yeah, someone will be here. With the cold water, yeah. When you pick from here, you put it, you in drop the cold it water. inside the cold water. So all the wax that are retained on the fabric that are remaining will drop inside the cold water. Then we will squeeze and remove with soft hand, not even scrubbing it. Scrubbing. You just remove it. Come down inside the water. Then you go and spread. Then you see your designs. Thanks, thanks. Nice one, man. Well done. Thank you so much. Do you collect offering? <laughs> Mommy Nike has taught so many people from different parts of the world the art of tie and dye. And you can see the evidence in the quality of work that she put out. These are students currently taking their classes in tie and dye. Please let me know your favorite part of this video in the comment section. Encourage me by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell to know whenever I put out a new video.